Okay, it was only a matter of time, but uh, the NHL has finally been hit with its first case of the coronavirus. We're going to be talking about that and much, much more coming up on the Sinbin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt. Welcome to the Sinbin. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I got to say, uh, I apologize for not making more videos regularly, you know. I'm, it sucks this whole pandemic situation, but it's also a good opportunity for me to put a lot of video ideas that I've wanted to do for a long time. So I hope you guys watch it and I hope you guys wash your hands, stay safe. The best way to control and treat a disease is to prevent it in the first place. But hey, listen, I'm not here to do a PTA. I'm here to talk about hockey. And like I said, the NHL has finally been hit with its first case of coronavirus. We've heard about the NBA. They've had it. Rudy Gole or whatever he's called. They closed down the NBA. They've done the same with the NHL, but it was more as a preventative measure. There wasn't any known cases yet. We've heard maybe rumblings, Alexander Radulov, does he have the coronavirus? Is that why he's been playing shitty this season? I'm just joking. We also heard that guy Aaron Ness in Arizona, maybe he has it. Turns out they're both negative. We did have an instance though in Ottawa, some player on the Ottawa Senators, we don't know who it is yet, but he is the first known case of coronavirus in the NHL. Again, the Ottawa Senators, they've decided to keep it fairly private. Maybe it was the player's decision. Maybe it was the organization's decision. I'm not really sure. But what I can tell you is that the Senators did release a statement saying, the Ottawa Senators are in the process of notifying anyone who has had close contact with our athlete and are working with our team doctors and public health officials, the team said in a statement. As a result of this positive case, all members of the Ottawa Senators are requested to remain isolated, to monitor their health and seek advice from our team medical staff. So that's some pretty scary stuff right there. Uh, the NHL and the National Hockey League's Player Association, the NHLPA, agreed to follow the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention recommendation that events of 50 people or more can be canceled for eight weeks. The health of our players, fans, and community remains our highest priority, the Senator said in a statement. We will continue to do everything we can to help ensure our players, staff, fans, and the greater community remain safe and healthy during this time of uncertainty due to the spread of, obviously, the coronavirus or the China virus or the COVID or whatever you guys want to call it. You know, the name doesn't matter. It's a very bad disease. Now, I don't want to get everyone scared. You know, I'm not a fear mongoloid or whatever the word is. You know, I don't want to spread fear or anything like that. I just want to spread caution because we can't take this too easily. I know a lot of people, especially millennials, and I'm going to say it, I'm a millennial, albeit maybe later on in the years, but I am a millennial. We're not taking this seriously enough because we know if we get the coronavirus, we probably won't die from it. Death rates in the younger people, you know, all the way down to newborn, it gets lower and lower and lower and lower. So say tomorrow I get coronavirus, I'm probably going to shit it out the next day. I probably won't even realize I had it. Yeah, I'm going to get a few cold symptoms here and there. But when I say prevent it, it's not necessarily for us. It's not for us young people. It's for the people that are older than us. My dad is above 65, okay? Uh, I'm going to isolate from him because I don't want to go out to the gym or, or go out. Gyms are closed, mind you. But go out in public, see someone, and then go ahead and spread it to my dad or go ahead and spread it to someone else who's of the older age. So I'm really serious, guys. I don't have that big a following. I'm not going to pretend like I do. Uh, I'm not the hockey guy. But by the way, poor hockey guy. What's he going to do this whole time? I feel, I feel like he's going to be Martin Sheen at the beginning of Apocalypse now, just doing naked dance. It's, it's going crazy in his room. Um, what was I getting to? Yeah, it's just for prevention, guys. Again, I didn't want this video to be a PTA. I wanted to report on the Ottawa Senators, but uh, who do you think has it, by the way? My money's on Brady Kachuk. N no reason. He, he just looks like someone who like touches door handles and licks things. And they say maybe coronavirus came from a rat. And who's the bigger rat in the NHL but Brady Kachuk? Possibly Marshawn. Possibly his brother, Matthew Kachuk. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I hope you guys subscribe to the Sinbin. I hope you guys like this video because I do have some ideas coming up in the future. My next video, I'm going to be talking about the best hockey game I've seen in my life. The answer is going to shock you. Also, guys, if you want to give any feedback on the video, 
Uh, who do you think has the coronavirus? Uh, what do you think? Do you agree with the NHL shutting down? How long? What are the solutions? Anything like that. Make sure to comment down below and also comment, what do you guys want to see me do? We got to get creative here as creators. We, we need to put some good content out there. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a video where I'm taking slap shots to the nuts? What is it? Let me know. And as always, my name is Matt. Keep your stick on.